this is a map of people that have downloaded one ping only uh, by country. So like, there's a lot in the US, like 483, and then other countries are less. China is, oh, China just broke 100. So it started out as a global game jam game. Um, after it was all settled and done, we decided we wanted to keep pushing with the game. We decided that there was so much potential to showcase our individual assets and skills that we can provide to the team that we should try to push it. Shit. And it being published on Steam was um, something we decided after the fact. And we think that it was definitely a benefit that we published it on Steam. But with that, the team dynamic had changed. We brought on an audio guy, Bradley, uh, to do audio because we needed audio for our game. Um, and it definitely took off. We had our own deadlines. We worked with each other, communicated as a team. Um, it definitely um, showed us a lot about ourselves. The biggest thing that we all learned through this entire exercise was there's things that you can learn in class, you know, where to put a block, you know, where to, how to make things look, you know, uninviting to the player. But what you really can't learn in class is how to deal with people and how to work as a team. If you're going to continue as a student and you're going to, like, strive to do more, then you really need to um, get on a game project and realize that people can't teach you everything. Some things you need to learn the hard way. And some things you need to uh, learn by working with others, not working just by yourself.